There we go. Nicer fish, guys. There we go. Crack and crawl strikes again. bit better fish guys I'm really happy to see that in here welcome back to outdoor guys today I got a lit video for you I bought the world's most expensive bass fishing reel that's right I got the Shimano and Terra's DC straight from Japan I checked all the tackle shops in Japan and they were all sold out so luckily I found one on eBay. I paid 750 bucks for this reel. Yes, I know that's a little crazy, but uh, it is what it is. This is like the Lamborghini of fishing reels, so you gotta live a little bit. Anyway, I've never fished one of these before. Um, I got a setup, I put uh, Daiwa J braid on it. It's like the multi-color one that shows you different depths and stuff. Um, I just wanted something colorful on there that way. I'm gonna be using that reel for, you know, bottom contact baits mostly. What's cool about the 2021 Antares DC is you can throw lighter baits on it. So I don't throw like weightless soft plastics a lot. So that's one of the big things I'm gonna try out here tonight. It's beautiful out. It's like 80 degrees, just a tad bit of breeze. The sun's starting to set. We're gonna try to hook up to some bass for you guys. Um, we're out at the farm pond, as you can see behind me. I'm pumped, I'm excited. Um, I just had to get out and go fishing guys so if you haven't subbed though make sure you smash that subscribe button down for me drop a comment down below and let me know if you guys picked up this Antares DC the new one for 2021 um, give this video a like if you liked it ring that notification bell too guys so you get all my new content first and if you would share this video it would really help the channel out all right guys I'm gonna quit talking I brought a bunch of soft plastic so I just have a regular hook rigged up right now so I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna throw on. The water looks dirty. We did get a lot of heavy rain kind of recently so um, they should be able to find these soft plastics though. Alright let me get her ready to go get her rigged up and then I'll put the GoPro on and we'll try to catch some bass. Stay tuned guys. All right, guys, let's try to crack and crawl first. Grab this guy right here. Pull them appendages apart. Hook it back in there just a little bit. That should be good. All right, guys, so. All right. So far, so good. Gotta get used to fishing stuff weightless. I'm used to having a weight on it. Um, anyway, this and Terra's DC paired up perfectly with this G Loomis NRX. Um, I, I was a little worried because these reels are a little on a heavy side. It's like close to eight ounces, I think. I went with the higher gear ratio too. I think it's a seven, eight to one, the highest you could get in the Antares DC. But um, it feels great on this rod. Like it's, 
it feels like it's definitely supposed to be there. So, and as you guys can see, like I'm casting a weightless plastic out there and it's doing fine. I got 20 pound J braid on this too, guys, just in case you were wondering. I d There's a bite. There's a bite. Drop it. I think he dropped it, guys. Um, but I have it set to max on the external control, so um, I'm going to move that a little bit and play around with it. Oh, guys, guys, how crazy was that? Guys, <laughs> what? What? On top? That's a nice bass. Guys, he wanted that so bad. There's no claws left on the crack and crawl. My man smashed that. That's a nice fish. That's not bad at all. All right, guys. There you go, bud. We need another uh, crack and crawl, but that's the first fish on the Antares DC. And man, was that exciting. So, you know, that's the cool thing about the crack and crawl, too. You can fish it a couple different ways. I better put these things in my pocket because looks like we're going to need them. All right, guys, there we go. Must have just turned this down just two clicks. Let's see, yeah, two clicks. This setup is just awesome, though, guys. The drag was loose on the last one, too. Shot something once. That is so awesome to be able to do that with no weight whatsoever. I think it's more finessey too, like with no weight on it, like when a fish picks it up. I'm liking this though so far. There's one. Another one, guys. There we go. Another one on the crack and crawl. Easy, bud. All right. Get him back. All right, I wanted to try, if I didn't get that bite, I wanted to try just crack and crawl on top again. Down two more notches just to see. Okay, got a little bit of a backlash that time. Crack 
crank it out one more. Here we go. Nicer fish, guys. A little bit nicer of a fish there. There you go. Crack and crawl strikes again. Right back in. little backlash again take it up one more it's probably where we're gonna have to leave it guys there we go Barely had to thumb that one. There's a bite. Little one. Little one there, guys. Little baby one. I'm gonna switch this bait. Um, I tore off the back because I tore down by the eye of the hook. So we got some clouds rolling in. Please don't rain. Please don't rain on me. There's one. A little bit better fish, guys. I'm really happy to see that in here. Get him back real quick. I thought that fish was bigger than it was. Wait, it was pulling. This thing is so smooth though, guys. It's crazy. I don't even feel like I'm reeling. Try it 
out of here a little bit. It's a bunch of grass out here in this side of the pond and then this is the deepest side of the pond too. Might just try swimming that slow. Probably get bit that way too. I gotta slow down a little bit. I'm keeping this up too much. I'm just used to fishing with weights. Gotta be patient. Just keep it moving. There's one. <laughs> right at the bank, I was swimming it. That bait's bigger than you, son. It'll get bigger. Guess you're trying. Alright, got a fresh bait on. See if we can pull something off of this little island. Something's getting blasted over there, guys. Get windy, I might have to throw a weight on. I don't have much time. No, I'm losing daylight. Got another one swimming it. Nice little guy. There you go. There we go. Is that a bite? Sounds like a bite. It was a bite. I got one claw left. Grab my bait quick. So you can flip it guys, weightless, does fine. Pretty happy with the reel so far. I don't have a ton of time with it, so, but first impressions, I like it. It's expensive, yes, but I like it.
fishing weightless too, guys. It's not that real loud, invasive kaplonk into the water with, you know, with a weight on. So definitely a more finessey approach to it. I just don't know if I'm patient enough for it. I, I move my bait too much. I'm just trying to get this video in before it gets dark. I got another half hour and that's it. It just definitely takes long it definitely takes longer to fish this way. Should get bit back here. It gets shallow back here. It's only a couple of feet deep. This bass should be moving around now though. It's a low light. Nice evening. There's one. All right, I'm gonna try to hit this other side. Something keeps getting blasted over here too. I just wanna throw one cast, see if I can catch whatever it is. And then I wanna hit over there. Whatever it was, it was hitting on top, so. Should chase this. Right here at the bank. <laughs> right here at the bank. All right, guys, I tied the lunker log on, got a stick bait on, um, probably a little bit heavier than the cracking crawl, but I just want to get running out of time. I probably should have put a weight on to see how I fish that, but I mean, if it's fishing weightless, fine. I'm sure it's good, but I just wanted to get up against this thing. I can fish this lunker log faster, too, because it'll sink faster and I can just cover a little bit more water and as you can see the sun's going down we got some clouds so I usually wacky rig these Cinco's but um, for today we're just gonna put it on the um, hammer hook see what we get
Surprised I haven't got bit yet on that Senko or Lunker log. It's just crazy. What is the deal, y'all? What is the deal? There we go. Oh, got bit and let it go. It's a real light bite. I should have said it right away though. I thought he would take it. Oh, that should have scared him away. Nope. Got him. Went back right there and got him. All right. Lost my worm, but on the lunker log, guys. All right, guys, I gotta end this one. We're pretty much out of camera light. Uh, we broke the new reel in now. We caught a couple fish, a couple decent ones. Um, I had a good time either way. What better way than to test the reel and kind of do a review and go out and actually fish it. So thanks everybody for checking it out. Um, if you haven't subbed, make sure you smash that subscribe button down for me. Give this video a like if you liked it. Ring that notification bell too, so when I drop my new videos, you guys will be the first to know. Um, if you share the video, it will definitely help the channel out. Drop a comment. Um, let me know what you guys think of the reel. Um, 
it's pretty awesome like i said i'm gonna take it out a couple more times and try some different weights and things but that's that's what's key to the dc reel guys if you're thinking about getting one you don't have to adjust the cast control knob and all that stuff it's you just tie on a bait and fish that's what i love about it most and you still can backlash it if it's not set up properly so um yes they still do backlash but a lot less than a regular bait caster you know people like me if i'm fishing i don't always pay attention to the cast control knob and adjust it especially when i'm trying to think and figure out what the fish want so just that right there less headache more fishing um less to think about less to go wrong 700 dollars. i mean it was 750 really but to me i think it's worth it the reel's gonna last forever probably it's you know it's built like a tank it's the best you can get from shimano for bass fishing so you know that's up to you whether you want to spend your money on it um i'm gonna put some more time into it stay tuned to the channel if you guys are looking at getting one gopro's dying on me um that way you know you can see a little bit more of the reel in action and stuff but i think it's gonna be totally fine it's the Antares DC, it's Shimano. Um, all my reels are Shimano, I love their stuff, but I'm gonna quit talking. Um, thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. I really appreciate you guys, especially all my new subs. People that are subscribed to the channel don't really watch my content though, so we gotta get some more videos going. Let me know what you guys wanna see. I'm pretty much down to do whatever, but I gotta call this video quits. I'll fish all night, um, I, it's hard to stop, but I think we accomplished what we needed to. We fished a reel, we caught some fish, um, we fished, you know, weightless off plastics, and we got a feel for the reel, so. Um, it's beautiful out here, though. There's actually a deer, there's a doe. Looks like coming out way behind me. This is a big farm here. I wish I could hunt it. It's just so nice to just come out here and, you know, nobody bothers you here at the farm pond at all. It's just nice to get out here and you know drop a few lines catch some fish um get your thoughts together and uh you know that's it for this one guys you have officially been outdoors